Hello there. I just want to show you what ChatGPT can do, taking a document and then creating tweets off the back of it. Um, we're using ChatGPT4. Um, so this is a paid for tool. This is not just the free version. And I'm uploading a press release that I've already written. Now, the, I have to say the press release was pretty good by my own admission. Um, but let's see how quickly it can take that press release, read it, and then turn it into some tweets, because as well as the press release, I might want five tweets for social media. So I'm a social media manager. Read, oops, read this and give me five tweets um, summarizing the story. Um, do some in a formal tone. Others more fun. Um, that's all. Do you know what? That's all I'm going to give it. That's all I'm going to give it, because I I kind of think if I have to spend too long writing my prompt, I'd me I'd be as quick just writing the whole thing. I mean I'll write that in five minutes. I'll write five tweets in five or six minutes. So for me to think this is going to be worth anything, it really needs to go some, right? I've been talking to you now for one minute and 25 seconds. I've uploaded my press release. I've written my prompt. It's now read that press release and it's given me back my tweets. And you'll see that it is slower than the standard chat GPT-3. It's having to work a bit harder here. It's it's doing more processing. And you see it's highlighting to me where the formal tone is and where the fun tone is. Um, important update, the Craig Nish Peninsula businesses are rallying amidst the disruption caused by a 6,000 tonne landslip. Despite challenges, the local community remains resilient and open for business. It's giving me some hashtags. It's making these up. These hashtags don't exist, but it thinks that I might want to use them. So Craig, Craig Nish Strong, Craig Nish Update, Craig Nish Christmas. Yeah, they're good. Here's the fun one. Hey, our guile folks. <laughs> Don't let a wee landslip keep you away. Craig Nish businesses are still up and running. It's the perfect time for deals and discounts. Support local and find some hidden gems. Um, there's another one, mark your calendars. It's focusing on the Christmas market. Um, there's a formal one using language like in response to. Um, and here's one where they've actually pulled out Vicky from the community company, highlighting her, so a slightly different perspective in there. Um, do you know what? I wonder if it can do... Can it do better? Uh, but I'd like something more engaging that people really notice and um, want to share, right? Still only been going here for three minutes. So it's like, oh, that's okay, but can you do better, right? For me to use this, it needs to be quicker and better than somebody that's already good at writing. I've already written a good press release. So here it's trying again. Right, this is maybe a little bit more like it. A giveaway alert. Show some love to Craig Nish businesses. Take a selfie while shopping locally and tag us for a chance to win a fabulous gift basket. That wasn't in my press release. I never, I never suggested that. What are you doing? Hold on. Uh, here's a quirky one. Landslip. More like chance to explore slip. Oh, it's, it's being a bit flippant here, isn't it, with my subject matter. Uh, discover, discover hidden treasures in Craig Nish. Be a tourist in your own backyard and get surprised by what you find. I think with a little rewrite, there's maybe something in that. Um, the, the, I like that. The countdown to the Christmas market. Um, and it's coming up with ideas now to engage the audience. So instead of just giving them facts and information, it's looking at well, what, what they could do. Okay, good. A motivational and uplifting one. Together we're unstoppable. There's the emoji. Let's show the world the spirit of Craig Nish. Every purchase, every visit, every share counts. Join the movement. The thing I find most useful about this, both of these examples, is that it is working out for me the correct uh, character count. One of the challenges with doing this exercise without ChatGPT, even if you're using something like Agora Pulse or Hootsuite, doing it manually, is you'll have the idea, you start writing it, but then you might find, oh, oh no, that doesn't work, it's over the character count, I need to start unpicking it. It's doing all that for me. This video now is only five minutes long, and I think we've kind of got something um, that we could think about using here. So that's ChatGPT4, paid for version, 
working off uh, a press release that I gave it, uploading it as a as a Word doc, and then letting letting it create some tweets off the back. I've got to say, I'm quite impressed with that. 